This is how I play in videos now. Mind map the ideas all from a center idea and kind of like, it all connects. So I want to start off with this William James quote, which I think really, really summarizes my thoughts now on community and Nurkana I am done with great things and big things, great institutions and big success. I'm for those tiny, invisible, molecular, moral forces that work from individual to individual, creeping through the crannies of the world like so many rootlets, or like the capillary oozing of water, yet which, if you give them time, will rend the hardest moments of a man's pride. Nurkan was an absolute blast, and it was all because of the people that made the event possible. I think it's really easy for us to forget that people make something possible, and not that like the event just somehow happens and we happen to be there, but that it's made up of every single experience and every single person that was there, both creators and panelists and attendees and volunteers and the people that, that are behind the scenes. It brings me back to both John and Hank's video regarding Nurk on Fighteria and specifically Hank first on prioritizing people and trust over power and ideas. We're doing remarkable things together specifically because there are people there and there are people that have the same uh, shared values around interests and that provides structure for people to create spaces for which we can have important conversations and we can create specific kinds of value. It's almost like the cooperation and act of creating value is more important than like creating a thing. Like the act in itself is valuable. I went to Nerd Hunter Fighteria specifically planned to do things and expecting things, but some of the most unforgettable moments I had were dinner with friends, were volunteer moments at the DFTVA booth. I just got a granola bar from Lori Earl. They were unexpected moments that were very valuable to me that I could never have predicted on my way there. Some of the remarkable moments that have come to mind that stuck with me that are both unexpected and were to plan were the Road to Nerdfighteria panel, reading Nerdfighter stories, the collaborative with the Katrina, the volunteer with the FTBA, the Butt song, Butts for breakfast, butts for lunch. Uh, the Ryan thing during live during Hank and John, screening with friends, just food with friends, and traveling. All those moments collectively created the experience. And another awesome mark moment too was the Steam Workshop and the fact that, that was like a giant 300 person classroom of people learning about really interesting things. Shout out to Team Geometry on their tower. Whoa. This includes not only the events I attended, but also the transition spaces between events, such as the spontaneous sing-alongs like Hamilton and Smash Mouth. Those in-between spaces, um, between events, there are unforgettable things that happen there too. It's not just at the events you attend. We are all creators and we are all consumers. So it's the very act of going to a conference, even as a volunteer as I was, I was able to both create experiences for people as a volunteer, but also you create experience for people as an attendee and you, cre and you consume the experience and all that happens. You participate wholly in it. And I got to register people and I got to begin an experience with a small positive interaction. And that's what I mean by that William James quote. A lot of the remarkable, wonderful things happen unnoticed in small situations. And then over time, those actions that are taken, those activations, they create energy and they create possibilities that could never have been expected. That's why people want to be in the room where it happens, to see those small moments become reality and to see the true origin story of how remarkable things come to be. I think the best way to celebrate something that you experience and you value is by being it. And I got to do exactly that in the presence of other people that I knew and people that I just met. It's all about people and community and important conversations and inclusivity and the deep, deep values that have been so long ingrained for Nerdfighteria. I did manage to lose one of my memory cards the first day that I went, but I got the second one recorded for most of the second day after the closing ceremony. But I went to that event and doing the event, experiencing the event is a lot different than creating a thing. Creating a thing of the event is sort of like a bonus. So thank you to everybody that made that experience possible. And I mean every single person that made that experience possible. The Road to Nerdfighteria team, all the friends that I had, the dinners that we had together, the conversations we had together, the events that I experienced, the singing I did, the volunteering, I did, the people I met to, it's all there. And it was all possible because John and Hank Green wanted to have important, valuable conversations and share on that adventure with all of us. We can't do all of the things, but what we can do is we can choose specific places long term or short term to help create remarkable things. And even if you didn't attend Nerd Con Nerdfighteria, you make the community exactly what it is with everything that you contribute, large and small. So thank you for however you contributed to that experience, online or offline. Keep being you, don't forget to be awesome, and I'll see you sometime soon. So, as they say in my hometown, oh, no!